It's that time of the day again. It's me, your fictitious, salacious, anti-hero, hentai happy. Today, we'll be talking about whether or not you should go back to your ex. Spoiler, the answer is no. The reason why you feel like returning to your ex is the endorphin secreted during your time together. The most prevalent one is oxytocin, the love hormone. But wait, oxytocin is developed when you are forming a bond with someone. The bond steadily develops into love by the steady increase of oxytocin. But love and sexual desires are two different things, dictated by two different hormones. Endorphins, I mean. You can stay in a relationship with a man for many years and increase the oxytocin, rabu, but the sexual desire, dopamine euphoria, can decrease incredibly. And that's because the man isn't taking care of himself, or he's not on his grind, he's not on his purpose, he's lazy. You know, anything can suddenly drop a woman's mood. But for men, you know, it takes more than it does for a woman to lose their sexual attraction for the girl, because I think the men only care for the orifice between the legs, right? That is why some girls leave men and the girls say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. This means that she lost her sexual desire for you, but she still loves you due to the residual oxytocin endorphins in her system. At this stage, the girl leaves the man. She will find someone new with whom she shares a high sexual desire, big release of dopamine euphoria, and low oxytocin, love endorphin. When a girl thinks about the fond memories she had with her previous boyfriend, her body is releasing oxytocin in her brain, tricking her that times were good and that she should return. However, when she returns to her boyfriend, the same thing will happen over again. She will get low sexual desire once more and look for someone better. Once a relationship has ended, it's ended forever. But wait, hentai happy god, I have seen people return to being a couple and getting married. You fool. They got married because she called him to fuck for one night after they separated, but she got pregnant. They had to get married. Very rarely do broken relationships work again. Maybe one in 1,000. But hentai happy god, maybe I'm the one in 1,000. Shut up, human pleb. You can ask your ex-girlfriend to come have sex with you, but there will be no relationship. Just use her as a friend with benefits, because she will leave you, or even worse, cheat on you. You may be able to have sex with her a few more times because she still has some residual comfort, love, oxytocin, endorphins for you. However, you cannot negotiate sexual desire. It's always better to start with a new person in a situation where both individuals have high sexual desire for each other. Life is not a drama. You're not going to go back to each other and it's not going to be super romantic. The same thing is going to happen over again. She's going to lose interest and you're going to be left broken hearted. Or he's going to lose interest and she's going to be left broken hearted. And you know when that happens, people tend to suicide. You know, more often than not, 70% of all suicides are by men. Uh, men have it really badly nowadays in this world. Um, I can think back to Miura, uh, one of the actors in Japan who suicided because of a broken heart, obviously. And uh, you know what? Men think it's romantic to take the rope to the neck and uh, they find it as a form of revenge or as a last final fuck you to their ex-lover who left them. But in reality, the truth is when you commit suicide for your ex-lover, in this case, it was a woman from Yuta, she's most likely going to be like, oh, you know, that's one obstacle out of my way. I don't have to give a shit about him anymore. Thank God I don't have to see him in public anymore. That's how lethal and brutal women are. You guys have no idea, okay? So it's definitely not worth it to take your life over a woman you know, over a rotten pussy. You may think she's the one, but there's a ton and tons and tons of ones out there. You know what I mean? There's 3.5 billion girls in this world. Why be fixated on the stupid bitch 
who left you for somebody else. Your this ex-girlfriend isn't going to go to your funeral and then go to your casket, in pull your pants down, and fees, start sucking work on your scam dick and one year with your new life. boyfriend with her. So if you found this That's information helpful, happen, dude. subscribe, Fail share, and comment, or game. donate to my uh, Patreon or Streamlabs, streamlabs.com slash opigamer, patreon.com slash hentai happy. I hope you appreciated this information. Time for the next uh, segment of the video. Touching on the previous video I did yesterday about the question mark, I'm pretty sure there's going to be bitches watching that video and trying to do the same thing to a man when he sends them a question mark. The man is not going to respond in the same way as a woman when he doesn't get a response. A man is going to think that your no response is a game or an indicator of very low interest. And then he's going to ask a dating coach who will tell him the same thing basically. He will say, let the girl come to you. She obviously has low interest. Let her build up the interest again. Like bread rises in a fucking bread maker. When in reality, the girl is just trying to fucking get the man to invest. Men react differently to mystery and drama with fuck, she doesn't like me, I fucked it up, how do I salvage the situation? Whereas a girl will be nonchalant about it in her abundance mindset of flying dicks everywhere and send a text because she's not worried about being needy. Girls don't have uh, to worry about being needy, they have an abundance mindset. So if she sends him a text, she doesn't care what she sends him. You know, they, they fuck with you because they don't care what your reaction is going to be because they have so much dicks on call. If you do this to a guy, you're going to lose at least a week. He might behave in a desperate manner if he's unwise and or doesn't seek counsel. Men respond to logic, not smokes and mirrors like women do. Women need smokes and mirrors to keep them going like, you know, um, a cat and a string of yarn. But, girls, you need to be direct with him and tell him, I don't understand what the lone question mark means. Could you make a sentence, please? Because you're girls, you can afford to ask a question saying please is also very feminine, nice, and gentle. That should solve your problems. If he doesn't want to comply, he doesn't want to comply. You can't really change him. Women have more leeway dealing with this situation because of the gaping hole between their legs. It's understandable that a woman would ask for clarification and men like to help women. He will invest because he will like to help you most of the time. Women think it's a chore when men ask for help, right? So if you're friends with a woman and, uh, you know, I think this is what MLD said last time, and your car breaks down on the middle of a highway, Highway 41, say, and, um, you're there and you call your woman friend for help. CAA is closed, everything's closed, and you tell her you need to change the, the tire. Do you have a tire iron? And could you help her? Could you help me uh, crank the car so I can lift it? The woman's gonna say, fuck you, fuck off, I'm going back to bed. I need my beauty sleep. That's what's gonna happen. There's no way men and women can be friends. There's no way a woman can actually help a man. She's not gonna help a man. She's gonna say, fuck you, motherfucker. Unless, unless, she has dying interest in them. Okay, so that's it. Take it easy, guys. See you later. If you like this video, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share, disseminate this knowledge, and subscribe to my channel. We need a lot of subscribers, man. We need to get that 10,000 mark at least. That's what I'm aiming for, bro. If you felt satisfied with my video, you can also go to my patreon.com slash hentai happy and continue supporting me so i can make more videos for you or you can go to my streamlabs.com slash opi game to give me a one-time donation of your choosing thank you very much and i hope you have a successful life